All right, guys, let's get right into it. This is a snapshot of all the things you're going to need to do this tutorial, and I'll have that listed down below in the drop down box, okay? All right, so everyone, this is Tiffany. This is her Halloween costume. She has challenged me to make this costume. As you can see, I am now measuring out the width of the heart and the length of the heart. Those two foam half cones that you see me using will be used as the shoulder pads to make this heart pop. Now I'm gonna take some wrapping paper. Yes, wrapping paper. With those measurements in mind, I am going to measure out the width of the heart and the length of the heart, leaving a little bit of space for error and if I want to add in a hem and other things like that. Oh, did I mention this is a no so tutorial? Yes, I heard a lot of you out there asking for a no so tutorial and this is one. So once I get the wrapping paper measured out, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold it so that the white side is on the outside and I'm going to draw half of a heart. Yes, I'm taking you back to elementary school. The perfect way to draw a heart is on half of a sheet of paper. We are going to cut out our heart, open that up, and we're gonna set that aside. Now to prep our fur. This is faux fur, and I'm going to simply fold it in half. On the fold is where I'm going to do the cut that you see me doing now. But here's a tip, you guys. This stuff sheds like crazy. You wanna make sure you have a lint brush on deck, okay? So we're gonna take the top half, fold it up, and move it out the way. The bottom half, we are gonna spin it, making sure that the fur is laying downwards. On both of these hearts, you want the fur to go downwards. Now I'm gonna take the heart that I just cut out and I'm gonna use that as my template for the second heart. Because I cut a little bit outside of the actual original template, you wanna make sure both hearts are cut exactly the same. Now you're seeing me use a hot glue gun to put in a hem all the way around the heart. With that half of the heart, I'm gonna simply cut it in half. Yes, yeah, so we're cutting a half of a heart in half. I'm now going to take the other solid half of the heart and I'm going to lay them on top of each other with both of the same texture facing each other. We're going to hot glue gun these together and then we're gonna turn them inside out so that the edges are more rounded versus stiff and standing up. You'll understand when you see me turn it inside out. All right, now it's time to stuff those rounded edges. I'm gonna take some of that excess material that we had when we cut out the heart. I'm gonna fold it into small pieces and I'm gonna stuff it right back into the corner of those hearts. I'm now going to make sure that it's even. Once it's even and in place, I'm going to determine if I need to add more. You know, this is just kind of a trial and error. Next, I'm going to take that same foam that you saw me use in the beginning, and I'm going to go ahead and get that secure and stuff that in there, making sure everything looks pretty cohesive to the other side that I already glued. Another really helpful tip is when you are making this, you wanna make sure that you're trying it on in between each one of these steps to kinda of make sure it's looking right. So I tried on the first half, it looked great, and now I'm ready to show you guys. So I'm simply going to glue that into place. I'm gonna make sure I really push that back and into that section of the heart. All right, so now that we have the bottom all secure and in place, I'm going to go ahead and get the top part secure and in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze my hot glue gun all over it. I'm gonna make sure I'm still pushing it back before it dries. Hot glue gun dries pretty quick, so you wanna make sure that you move kinda of fast. Now I'm gonna be applying my eye hooks. These are coat eye hooks and they come four in a pack. I'm going to be using all four but in all honesty, I should have overlapped this opening. And you'll see that later because there's gonna be some gapping. So off camera at the end, I end up removing those and overlapping them. So this is why you have to try it on in between. But this still works. So if you don't wanna overlap and you follow this exactly, you'll be fine, but I suggest overlapping. So I'm gonna glue gun these eye hooks down. Yes, you guys, I promise you no sewing is done in this whole tutorial. I'm not even sewing on these eye hooks. I am completely cheating. I was a little skeptic. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was very skeptic that it would not hold, but this glue from this hot glue gun is like killer, okay? It holds like crazy. With all of my eye hooks in place, I'm going to simply put the garment, yes, we now have made a garment, it's official, onto Tiffany, and we're gonna see where we're at. We both agreed that the shoulder pads were sitting a little bit low. So to bring in some added support, I'm taking this belt material and I'm basically going to pin it into the foam just to get it secure so I can take it off of her and then I can hot glue gun this belt support in between the two foam, air quote here, shoulder pads. So yes, I'm going to cut off all of that excess 
belt material and then I'm going to simply hot glue gun that down into the foam yep just like that and now we have that added support so it's not slouching on our arms and it's a lot more comfortable and it sits up higher and starts to look like an actual heart. So I'm gonna do that on this side and then I'm gonna repeat it and do it on the other side. So now that the heart is fitting her properly, we are now able to put in the armholes. We are simply going to cut in the armholes. I suggest cutting small holes and then if you need to add more, you can. My next suggestion is to start cutting right at the fold of, of your model or your arm, okay? You wanna make sure that it's comfortable if you have to wear this, okay? If you're just doing it and you're not really gonna wear it, then you know, do whatever you like. That's it, you guys, we're done. That simple, all those steps. So let me know down below, is this something you can see yourself rocking? Who's gonna be Rihanna in the heart costume this year? All right, squad, make sure you guys share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.